I'm Dr. Richard Pan. I'm chair of the Assembly Health Committee. And uh, I'm here to uh, talk about the UC Student Health Plan, which is putting students and families at risk by exposing them to the total cost of out-of-pocket care when a student has a serious illness. As a physician, I know that medical and hospital bills can exceed the UC lifetime cap of 400,000 when you have a serious illness like cancer or some other chronic condition. And as a UC faculty member, I fought for the Affordable Care Act for families to be sure that they could take care of their sick or injured child or parent or sibling without facing financial ruin. The ACA does not permit lifetime caps for normal plans. And that's why we fought so hard for reform. So today, working with the University of California Student Association, I have introduced a bill to implement this very important reform for UC students. My bill will eliminate the coverage caps in the UC Student Health Plan. As a state university, the University of California should provide our students the same health care benefits and protections that, that's given to other Californians in the Affordable Care Act. UC students who develop a serious illness should not have to worry that their student health plan will fail them when they need it most. The very students who fought for the Affordable Care Act deserve to benefit from the historic reforms they helped create. Now, one of these students, Kenya Wheeler, is here to talk to, to us today about his battle for his life and for health care justice. When I was diagnosed with, with cancer, I was 37, and you know, I never, I was in good health, active cyclist. I never expected I would come down with a life-threatening disease, just one day be fine, the next day be, be uh, in fighting for my life. The wall I hit were, were, were caps on medical care. On a, there's a $10,000 annual prescription cap that I hit, which my chemotherapy drug, which does great work, uh, my, the pill I took went away in three months, the cap, the $10,000. Um, so and then I hit the $400,000 lifetime medical cap, which I would have no idea if you had told me six months before that was going to happen. And, and that was a, just another battle that I never expected to have to fight. Not just fighting uh, you know, an aggressive brain cancer, but also uh, a, a ceiling on how much medical care I could get to save my life. If you think about it, college students, people in essentially their 20s are perhaps amongst the most healthy group. So I think the you know, actuarial risk is probably pretty low, uh, but it does happen. I mean, I'm a pediatrician. And we think of kids as being healthy. I take care of adolescents. And people like Kenya do come down with cancer. They come down with other conditions. While it's infrequent, uh, it is uh, something that does happen. And really, again, uh, the fact that it's actually perhaps uh, less frequent than an older population should make it even more imperative that the university step up. And you know, it's, as Kenya said, you know, he's now in remission. He's able to be a productive member of our community with his you know, master's degree. Uh, these, these are not people who come down with an illness and we should say we just give up on them. We need to support them so they can help give back to our state. And so again, University of California is a big organization. They need to step up and provide the kind of coverage we expect for all Californians that, that most other Californians will be getting. So that's what needs to happen. And so certainly, I'm going to push them for that through legislation. And I certainly urge the university to take steps themselves to, to correct this issue.